Hi friends, it's Jasmine. In this video, I'll be trying on Selena Gomez's makeup line, Rare Beauty. Just a disclaimer, I seemed really down in the beginning of the video. It's because I talked about my birthmark, which is very personal to me. If you're not interested in seeing that part, feel free to skip it. I just felt that it really relates to Rare Beauty and what it stands for. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoy the video. So as you can see, um, here I am with my bare face. And honestly, I just don't feel like physically bare, but also emotionally. I think this is my most personal video yet. When I saw that Selena Gomez was releasing her makeup line, I immediately got intrigued because I watched her growing up. And as I learned more about what rare beauty means to her, it just really spoke to me. So I was born with a birthmark on the right side of my face. I have it on my cheek, my forehead, and my right eye. And I've always been insecure about it. You know, growing up, some people called me names and some people would stare and it really affected my confidence. And I could remember a five-year-old me trying to cover her birthmark with um some baby powder and of course it didn't work i'm gonna say that like you know there are times that i really feel confident but a lot of times i just don't and this is something that has been affecting my self-esteem ever since i was a little girl and when i found out about rare beauty i felt like rare beauty is not just a makeup line and that it's a platform that Selena and the rest of her crew uses to help people embrace their own uniqueness. And you know, that's easier said than done, especially nowadays with all the beauty standards. Sometimes I would scroll through my social media feed and feel even more insecure. This makeup line's mission to break those unrealistic beauty standards and to encourage women, men, to encourage us to embrace the natural us, to embrace who we are. And hearing Selena talk about how everyone's beautiful and how, like, you know, our unique features make us beautiful was just very empowering for me. Because growing up, I've always seen this as something that sets me apart, as something that holds me back. And I know it doesn't have to be that way, but it's a journey. And I decided that it's time that I put more work into actually being happy with the features that I'm born with. So yeah, so this is a step in doing that. Let's just get into the actual try-on part of the video. I started putting foundation on and I forgot that my order came with a free sample of the primer. This is their Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. And the sample has 5 ml of product. I just put a pea sized amount on my palm. Oh, it's actually very smooth. It's so easy to blend. I can already tell that this is hydrating my face. And it makes it look kind of glowy, which I like. I'll just put a little bit more on my forehead because of my birthmark. When I touch it, there's no texture, but for some reason, my foundation tends to cake on my forehead where my birthmark is. And I'm gonna try on the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation, and I got the shade 230N. This one contains an ounce of foundation, which is 30 ml. I really like the minimalistic packaging of this one and the balls that you see on the products are made for people who have weakened hands so it's easier to grip and it's easier to open. Okay, I'm gonna start applying the foundation. This foundation has medium to full coverage which I actually love. I love how you can build the coverage and wow, this is blending so smoothly. I didn't order the concealer because I just often gravitate 
to foundations that has coverage and I do have a concealer but I don't use it all the time I'm gonna put some on my neck and this foundation has a doe foot applicator and at first I was kind of gross out of the idea that it's a doe foot and not a pump but yeah, I read comments saying that we use that for concealer and it shouldn't matter for foundation. It feels very weightless. I feel like the Rare Beauty team really had the formulation spot on because it is weightless and it does have coverage, which I like. I like how they're really promoting natural beauty, but at the same time, it gives you enough pigment to just have fun with makeup. I've, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Selena a lot, but I've been watching a lot of her videos. She wants people to have fun with makeup, and I think by offering buildable coverage, offering products that actually has pigments that you can work with, just gives you room to experiment have, and have fun. And also, us, you know, someone who has insecurity on her face, I feel like providing a buildable coverage just makes the brand more inclusive especially for days when you just need a little bit of pick me up you know when you want to cover your dark circles or you know when you have a birthmark and you're just feeling the need to cover it you know, self-love is a journey and some days are harder than the others and feel like we shouldn't beat ourselves up for it okay I feel like my nose, because you can see I also have a, my birthmark here. So I think I'm just gonna try to see if I can cover that with some foundation. If you want a lighter coverage, you can just use dots instead of you know, lines when applying the foundation. I'm just gonna use this Innisfree Mineral Powder to set my makeup. I typically just use a clear brow gel mascara. Okay, eyebrows are done. Next, I think I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty bronzer to bronze up my face a little bit and apply some on my eyes. Sorry if I seem a little bit off in this video. I feel very nervous doing this. I'm just gonna do the bronzer and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have my bronzer, my mascara, and just a little bit of eyeshadow on. I just use the same bronzer for my eyes. Next, I'm gonna try the Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. Liquid blush or cream blushes just don't work well with the side of my face that has birthmark. It tends to rub off my foundation, but I just really want to know if this would work for my skin. I've watched different reviews and heard amazing things about it but I think it will be interesting to hear how this would apply to someone who might have the same facial feature as me. I heard that this is very pigmented and so I'm just gonna apply dots. Okay, let's see how this will work on my skin. Oh, wow. This is very pigmented, but I could tell that this is so creamy. Again, it feels nice on the skin. Like on the side, without birthmark, this is applying really nicely. But oh my goodness, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to spend time spreading this because it's very pigmented. I think I should have just applied a dot or maybe applied it on the top, on my hand first. Try to blend this really quickly. So it's not rubbing my foundation off, but it is, uh, it kind of does actually, but it is harder to blend on this side of my face. <laughs> I'm still blending it. Actually on Nikki Tutorial's video with Selena Gomez, I think she used the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 mist. She sprayed some onto her brush when she was blending this. So let's see, maybe that would work. Hmm. Okay, it seems to be working a bit. Let me try it on the other side of my face. 
Hmm. Okay, I feel like this is the most blended I could get it. So definitely for next time, I'm gonna apply it on the back of my hand just to kind of dilute it. This is a very pigmented blush. I found it very creamy and actually quite easy to spread. I think that it took me a while to blend because I applied more product than I need. <laughs> it's all kind of red here. Let me just zoom myself a little bit so you could see how the blush looks on the side of my face compared with the one that has birthmark. I think that this one actually looks smoother and it was much easier to blend. And this one, it didn't fully disrupt my foundation. There are some areas that it did that just a bit. But I could actually say that considering my skin situation and all of the liquid cream blushes that I use, this was actually the one that worked the best for my skin type. Okay, so there's that. This one is their Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in the shade Mesmerize. This one has kind of like a rose gold kind of shade. Okay, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I really like this glow. I think it pairs well with the blush in the shade Joy. I like it. Let's try to blend this one. You know what? This is not disrupting the foundation either. This highlighter gives a very natural glow, which I like. I don't think I get that from powdered highlighter. I'm really happy about how this is looking. I also got their lip balm. It's called With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. And this one is a pigmented lip balm. Um, I got the shade Thankful. Ooh, I really like how this one looks. And that was so easy to open. I think this was the easiest experience of me opening a lip balm. This one just kind of has like a brownish pink color. My lips are very chapped today. Ooh, this is actually a very pigmented lip balm. It just applied so smoothly. It feels good on the lips. I'm just gonna take this off and I'm gonna try the other shade that I have. The other shade that I have is Empathy. And this one is definitely pink here. Oh, it's a bit bright for my liking, but I kind of like it. In addition to the lip balms, I also got the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. Again, I'm a big fan of the packaging. This lip cream is supposed to feel weightless and it's supposed to hydrate your lips while providing pigment. I'm really curious about how it would feel on my lips, especially right now that it's dry. And I got shade Fearless. Hmm. It does feel very hydrating. It feels so soft. I'm just gonna let this dry and try to see if it's um, transfer proof. But I just wanna say that I like this shade. It's like a deep mauvey pink. Okay, I think that's enough time. Let's try to see if it's transfer proof. It's not transfer proof. There is some pigment here, but it's not that bad, and I'm not mad about it. I'd rather have hydrating lip products compared to like really matte ones that just dry out my lips. I don't feel that this one dried out my lips. My lips were really dry even before this, but yeah, I like the shade. And I'm just gonna spray the Rare Beauties Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. I really like that name. Hmm. The mist is fine, but I feel like not a lot of product went on my face and I don't know why, but I could see that I have product on my face. 
And at first when I was putting things in my cart, I didn't order this one, but I read that this one actually has niacinamide, which is a really good skincare ingredient. It helps calm redness, regulate oil, and build keratin. Just has tons of benefits. And ooh, it made my skin really glowy. Some people, I think, don't like the smell. I think the smell is not that powerful. Kind of reminds me of a spa. So I let my hair down. I'm really impressed with the products and I'm very happy about them. This is our final product. The blush is definitely more than what I'm used to, but I actually, I'm really happy with the final look. And when Selena said that she wants this makeup to be something that people feel good in, I could really feel that. And to me, just knowing that the founder of this makeup line cares about not just how people look but how people feel that itself empowers me i'm really happy because personally not a lot of products work well on my skin situation but these did and that means a lot to me i'm just really happy that selena is using this platform to actually raise awareness about mental health and to provide better access to mental health services because a big part of how you see yourself is your mental health and i know that's kind of ironic talking about embracing your natural self when i just covered up something that i feel insecure about but you know, I think the main fact that I was able to film this video with my bare face just show how powerful platforms can be. I wasn't applying makeup with the thought that, oh, I have to cover up my imperfections. I was just doing it for the sake of just having fun with it. If you haven't tried Selena's makeup line yet, and if you're curious about it, I think they're really worth a try. Thank you so much for watching my video, friends. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Bye.